Yo, and welcome back to Tales of Arc. And if you're enjoying the video, make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. But here we are with The Last of Us Remaster Part 1 Left Behind. I have no idea what's going to happen. All I know is Ellie has a girlfriend and... That's pretty much it. I have never done this and because I felt like, I don't know. But yeah, but since the show is going to come up soon for I might as well do it and find out. I mean, hoping it's not too long, but it could be, so... I don't need to do the tutorial because I just did the finale for the base game, like, literally two... five minutes ago. Depending on how long the credit was, but yeah, let's go. Let's do hard. Oh man, does this mean I gotta play as weak little girls? Oh, I was bringing back flashback to that whole David part. That was terrible. And unfortunately, I won't have David to be as a meat shield, so I can ass ass the zombies or the infected. But hey, let's see where this goes. Is this? Oh, so that's why they put it that way in the show. Cause I was like, I was they because people were saying, oh, the DLC is the next episode. I'm like, what? Wouldn't it be better to put it after the um, finale? But this, but so they're doing it after he gets impaled, just like because it's based off of the game, so. There's a flashback, right? I wonder how old is she? She looks older than Ellie. Or she could have a growth spur and she's just like tall. So is she like an explorer? Is this Marlene's daughter? Probably always. Oh, this is nice context for what happened. Hey. Oh, 
Oh my god. Bro, you should not have pulled it out. Oh wait, no. You have no choice but to pull it out. There's a rebar. Unless you take the cement with you. The concrete. Or whatever. I was like, whatever. So are they just going to give us the, the flashback and cookie crumbles as we explore this? I'm assuming it looks like a mall. Why would you put a lock? Feel like in an important moment, you might need to open it quickly. All right, so what do you have? Nothing. Great. That's going to be handy. Man, it's so weird playing like The Last of Us and not knowing what's going to happen. Like, I am having to replay just the base game just now. Like, I mostly forget majority of it, but I still have, like, some inkling of it, of what's going to happen, of uh, voice crack. Like, the story-wise, as for the creatures and infected, not really. I didn't know that, those stuff. I just know, like, hey, he gets stabbed at this point. Hey, she fights this guy at this point. And, so, like, kind of, like, minor stuff, like, well, major minor stuff like that. Like, I, I forget where, like, the bloaters or any of, like, the big boys are and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I'm playing this with a fresh set of eyes, not knowing the outcome. Well, I do know what the outcome for this. I know that Riley and Riley's going to die because from what she told us in the epilogue. But other than that, I don't know the journey, which is what I enjoy about games. What helped me cope with life? It's the journey of playing the game and knowing the story as it happens. Like I'm sure most people just want to reach the ending or like get to the end game or stuff like that. But I enjoy the long journey. It's fun. That's why sometimes I like MMO. I like the grind to get to it. I love the, the gathering, the exploration. The things you find out in the world, sometimes the collectible, even though I don't always collect them, that is the fun of the game. If I, and that's why you, every time I play a, and that's why every time you, majority of the time when you see me play a game, I always want to do side quests first. Because if I just do the main story and just reach the end, I will feel like I have no, I have, no desire to just do the side quest anymore. So I always do the side quest first. Find it because it's fun. Because it's there to you so you can experience the side stories of the characters or the side characters or the irrelevant grunts. But sometimes side quests are terrible. I mean, look at Assassin's Creed Odyssey. The Radiant quests are terrible. But yeah, that's just my like opinion of playing the game. I know I'm just ranting, but it's not like we're doing anything better right now. There's no infected yet. Pretty sure there will be some soon and we're probably gonna get locked in here. No, oh, what the, f why? I get jump scared so easily. There's an infected in here. There's no way it's not. Are you just picking up whatever?
Now, before I commit to checking, I should probably look around. We know there's an A infected somewhere in here. Well, somewhere in this mall, because we just heard it. And I'm, I have a creeping feeling that it's gonna like jump scare me. I just saw something. Nope. All right, it's ghost is clear. The only thing left is just for it to pop up over here. There's no way they're not gonna jump scare you. See? No, there's nothing. Sorry, DVD. I'm just waiting. I just know it's here. Come on, infected. I know you're here. Where are you? Please read. Went crazy and attacked me. I hit him pretty hard. He's unconscious. I locked him in the American Prince's store next door. Please get help. 35, 30, 31. Don't jump scare me. Okay. 30, 35. So he's in here. And of course, the spider senses isn't working. So. All right. I'm going to get rocked. Come on. Don't. 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 Need key. Look, I get scared real easily. Oh, we know. All right, so we got to find his friend has the key, right? In Princess Store. Princess. Prince. Oh. Right here. Which? Oh, they do combination lock. I was like, how would you have a key? Where did you get find this key from? Oh my God. Why is this so loud? Oh, and you have to hold it, not mash it. <laughs> I was like, so I, I was panicking because it's so loud, but I didn't read it like entirely. And it said that thing's gonna fall behind us and we're gonna be. I know, right? Plus, it's in the creepiest doll room. Are you serious? Damn. All right, come out. Why are you in this doll room? Why here? Why are you guys such a massive? Is that massive or a sadist? You had to put it in this room. Look at this. This dude's probably been here for years. How it's probably a bloater or something by now. All right, I'm a. Uh... Do my jump scare moment. I'm gonna back the hell up and not get too close. Oh, he's stuck. He's gonna reach out though. Damn it, why? Why? Oh, I... come on. No, 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 <laughs> why? It just moved. I know. Bro, why play scary games? I lean back so far. I'm, it's like I'm Boa Hancock from the last, from.
from um One Piece. Like my arc back like leans back so far. What the fuck? Where's you have your knife? Oh, she does not have. Wait, I do have my knife. Oh, I'm dead. So I can't assassinate clickers. Like that was that that was Ellie's OP ability. Her knife was unbreakable, so I don't have that. I mean, or I can't do that. I can't assassinate this clicker. I'm clear this clicker can see because. I don't have a brick or anything, so which is unfortunate. We gotta tough this out. Come on, hurry up. What? Are you serious? Good. Turn your ass around. I will throw this brick at you, ma'am, and take that 50 50 whether I can ass ass you. Kind of sucks. Oh, damn it. Every time. So, staring affected in here. Close the door. Check the room. Why? You're so naive, Ellie. Oh, don't. Don't. Can I, can I close the door, please? Um. Okay, this is, they should give me the option to close the door. Nice. Nothing. Nothing. Great. You guys gave me powder. What, what can I do with this? Nothing. Great. All right. That's a dead end. I'm assuming I, they want me to go to the helicopter and to do that, I have to go around. So I have to go through picks, picks it. I'm guessing it's like a Photoshop or a tech store. E Sharpie, oh yeah, this is definitely like a Photoshop store or something. I mean, not Photoshop, like um, photography. Oh, oh, the, oh that voice crack. And then it pops into a nail salon. Oh, you're, you're dead. So girl, get back down. All right. What did the notes say? Salon note. Chief Warrant Officer Larry Cullifield died bravely this afternoon. We were flying back to the QZ when our patient turned. It must have been spores because none of us saw the bite. The patient broke through the restraint and fell upon our pilot. 
a warrant officer seeing Brandon. Even with the helicopter spinning out of control, Officer Collarfield fought the infected patient, saving saving our lives. We crashed in the rural Colorado mall. Private Eugene Ellis, Officer Collifield, and I were the only survivors. In subduing the infected, Officer Collifield was... It? Was bending on the neck. He merely showed us the bite and accept his fate. I executed the infection protocol before Officer Collifield could turn into infected. May he rest in peace. Captain Re Regan Francis, 4th Infantry Division, Denver uh, QZ. Damn, man. Soldiers. Good soldiers follow orders. All right, so do I head down? I head down. All right, what kind of BS is about to happen? They want me commit to this jump. No way ups, which means something bad or something I have to fight or sneak through. Ugh. Oh, flashback. When you wear a jacket, it's like literally raining. They found me. Where are we going? Man, how much it must suck for you to become a firefly and then when you come back to visit your friend, you just die. That's terrible fate. It's just a habit, I know. I don't know why. I'm trying to look for um, supplies. What do you mean your people? Why am I playing Assassin's Creed? Look at this.
So, are they dating? It doesn't feel like they're dating. It just feels like they're best friends. Like, I was told that was her, her girlfriend. Or, or, or is it that thing where people just do, or they're like, oh, I shipped them. That's definitely her girlfriend. Because it doesn't look like it. It just looks like they're besties. Yeah, I'm feeling they're besties and not like girlfriend dating. No, I stole them back. Yep. But I won't know if, unless they held, um, <clears throat> no, not really hold hands or if they kiss at the end, then probably. Who's? Yeah. She said she had some before. And it wasn't as good as the first time. I mean, it's still not as good. Like, no, Ellie, she would try it. Unless they met girlfriend, as in, not as a girlfriend, girlfriend, but as a friend, as a girl, I guess. But I'll probably just stop here. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.